feature, the ivory counterfeiter. It is early morning as the taxi speeds across town with its occupants, Clutch Cargo and Company. Golly, it's sure early. Where are we going, Clutch? See Francois von Chippendale, the well-known art dealer. I received a phone call from him last night. He seemed to be extremely worried. The taxi pulls to a stop in front of a palatial mansion. The master is expecting you. Won't you come in? Ah, good morning, Mr. Cargo. I am so glad you could come. Your phone call sounded urgent. I thought we'd get here first thing. This is Spinner, my pal. How do you do, sir? Wow, wow. And Paddlefoot, another pal. I am very pleased to meet you both. What seems to be the trouble, Mr. Von Chippendale? This elephant tusk. What? It is worthless. <laughs> it looks like a genuine elephant's tusk, but it isn't. It's counterfeit. I can see. It's just plain cement, molded to look like a tusk and painted with ivory paint. Gee, elephant tusk counterfeiters. Exactly. I have done business with the same man for over 30 years, and this is the first time this has ever happened. Besides the money I lost, I have lost faith in an old friend. I just can't believe old Schwampy. Swampy? You know him? We sure do. Why, he's as honest as they come. I'll say he's the nicest, most honest man we've ever known. Wow! Wow! It is a great relief to hear you say that, Mr. Cargo. And now I'll come right to the point. Would you act as my agent on check on this matter? I'd be glad to, Mr. Von Chippendale. Especially since the reputation of our friend Swampy is involved. Bunch and company were soon flying over the African volcano country. Look down there, Spinner. Volcanoes. Crawley, Clutch. Don't get too close. What if one of them erupts? None of these has erupted in years, Spinner. Though you'll always find a volcanic mist around them. Wow. I'd sure hate to have to land any place around here. All those wild animals. Suddenly, and without warning, an old German World War I plane dives out of the volcanic mist. Clutch! Clutch! A plane coming right at us. Boy, that was close. Look, Clutch! He's coming back! must have a modern engine in that tree. He's keeping right up with us. Clutch! He's shooting at us! this terrible crash. Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, the Ivory Counterfeiters. You remember last time, Clutch and company were told by Francois von Chippendale, famous art dealer, that Swampy had sold him counterfeit ivory tusks. In an effort to clear Swampy's name, Clutch and company head for Africa and the volcano country. As they arrive, a strange plane fires on them. Hold on, you two. This is a crash landing. Is everybody all right? Yeah, I'm okay. Here comes that plane again. Everybody out and take cover. Come on, Paddlefoot. Under that big tree. I don't think they'll be back. 
They probably think they got us. Stay here, you two. I want to check the plane. We'll be right here, Clutch. Not too much damage. Landing gear bent. Wing punctured with bullet holes. Prop bent. I can fix it in a hurry when we need it. However, I think we'll go on foot the rest of the way. Swampy shouldn't be far from here. It'll be safer to walk with that plane up there. Looks like Paddlefoot's found a trail. Let's go. Golly, Clutch. This jungle sure is thick. Yes. Full of hidden dangers. <coughs> Clutch, look at that big bird's nest. Hey, that is a big one. I wonder. Swampy! Clutch boy and Spinner and Paddlefoot. Swampy, you old tree dweller, what are you doing way up there? Why, I heard some shooting and a plane flying, so I climbed up to get a better look. What was the commotion? We were part of it. Another plane shot us down. Somebody heard we were coming here. Or got us mixed up with somebody else. Been a lot of strange things happening around here lately. Where do you live, Mr. Swampy? Right over there, Spinner Boy. My home is where my wheels are. I'm on the move all the time in my business of ivory trading. That's why we're here, Swampy. Huh? You mean you come to help me? Well, yes. But first, I'd like to find out where you get your ivory. From Chief Hedgy Fudgy over on the other side of the valley. Why? Let's take a run over there, and I'll fill you in on the way. You see, Swampy, all the ivory Mr. Chippendale got in that last shipment was counterfeit. Clutch boy, do you know what you're saying? We saw it, Swampy. There's no question about it. Why, I can't believe it. These came from the same place as all of them. Right from Chief Hedgy Fudgy. He has access to the legendary elephant's graveyard. We didn't believe that you'd play an awful trick like that on Mr. Chippendale. We came to help you clear your honest name. We'll cut across here and follow the elephant's trail. It makes a good road. Boy, this is wild country. Look, elephants! There must be a hundred of them. Probably more than that. Look, here comes that plane again. Stop the car, Swampy. Everybody take cover in the elephant grass. That shooting spooked the elephants. They're stampeding. What do we do? How can Clutch and Company and Swampy avoid being trampled by the elephants? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, the Ivory Counterfeiters. You remember last time, after being shot down by a strange plane, Clutch and company proceeded on foot through the jungle in search of their old friend Swampy. They find him in a huge bird's nest. While driving to Chief Hedgy Fudgy's hut, the strange plane again appears, setting off an elephant stampede. Looks like we've had it, fellas. Not yet, it ain't. What do we do? Come here, Oliver. Good boy. Now speak for the elephants. Pick them, Oliver. <laughs> Look, they're running the other way. Now I've seen everything. You're the best gold dinged elephant herd stopper a man ever had, Oliver. Have a piece of cheese. Golly, I like Oliver, Mr. Swampy. I've had Oliver for over ten years. He moved his whole family in with me. I carry him just in case some elephant gets out of hand. Back in my hat, Oliver. We'd better not stay out here in the open. Let's get going before that plane comes back. That was a mighty close call, and all because of that guy on the plane. I'd give anything to find out who it is. Very clever bit of flying, Buck, and a pretty dirty trick, too. Thanks, Horace. That's where I got my name, Dirty Buck. I've been looking for Swampy and his pals, but I can't spot them. We saw the elephants train back, which means they weren't trampled. My guess is they're headed for the native village. Yeah, we'd better get there first. We wouldn't want to disappoint them. Spinner, you and Paddlefoot keep your eyes open for that plane. How much farther is it to Chief Hedgy's place? Ain't very far now, Spinner. Just a couple of miles. Hurry, Horace, and get Chief Hedgy Fudgy's clothes. 
They'll have to be here any minute. Okay, Buck. <laughs> I get a kick out of fooling old Swampy. It's sneaky. Yonder is the village. Hope the chief's in. I don't see any natives around. Oh, they must be away on an ivory expedition. Well, here we are. Look, is that the chief over there? That's the chief. <laughs> Howdy, Swampy. Welcome. Do not come till tomorrow. Sad business, Chief. The last ivory you sold me, no good. Counterfeit. You mean not real ivory? That's right, Chief. That's why we're here. This here is my friend's clutch cargo, spinner, and paddlefoot. The man I sold ivory to sent him down here to look for me. He thought I cheated him. You know, cheat. Maybe somebody cheat me. I buy ivory tusks from traveling ivory salesmen. Maybe he cheat. I thought all this ivory came from the elephant's graveyard. No, but I know where more ivory is. I give you giant mastodon tusk now to take place of bad ivory. You come back in four moons. I have more for you. That sounds reasonable, eh, Clutch? Here, giant tusk, all yours. Well, now, thanks, Chief. Clutch, give me a hand. What a big tusk. Must have been a big elephant. Wow, wow. <laughs> if I hadn't have known it was you, Horace, I'd think you was really the chief. My acting career helped me. Too much jiggling of that ivory tusk can help be blown to bits. I felt it with over 50 pounds of dynamite. <laughs> <laughs> Just wait till they hit that real rough part of the jungle. 50 pounds of dynamite packed in that tusk and no way to warn Clutch and his friends. What will happen? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, the Ivory Counterfeiters. You remember last time, Clutch and Company with Swampy, whose name they are trying to clear because of the sale of counterfeit ivory, arrive at Chief Hedgy Fudgy's hut. Horace Greedy, Dirty Buck's friend, impersonates Chief Hedgy Fudgy and gives Clutch a counterfeit ivory tusk loaded with explosives. Wait till they hit that real rough part of the jungle. a close one. That tusk was loaded with TNT. Come on, Swampy, turn this buggy around and let's go back to Chief Hedgy Fudgy's hut. Meanwhile, as Crunch and company with Swampy head back for the hut. <laughs> Did you hear that thing explode? Too bad we missed the show. It's enough to know we've done away with all those guys. Buck, listen, that's a car engine, you think? Oh, no, it couldn't be, but it is. Come on, let's get out of here. Go sort of careful like. I'm getting so I don't trust Chief Hedgy Fudgy. He's not here. He must have heard us coming. Have a look around. Good idea, Swappy. Not a trace of old Hedgy Fudgy. <laughs> look, Clutch. Paddlefoot found something. Look at him dig. What is it, boy? Huh? Must be something behind this door. Hey, it opens into a secret room. Well, I'll be. This is where the counterfeit ivory is being made. Here's the mold. They just fill it with cement and mold the tusks. And there's where they spray paint them and hang them up to dry. I'd never thought the chief would do this. Not so fast, Swabby. It could be someone disguised as a chief. There's the chief suit hanging on the wall. Then I wonder what happened to the chief. Paddlefoot wants out the back door. Maybe he's picked up a trail. Open it and let him out. Boy, look at him go. He went into that hut. Come on. Move, kind of careful. Well, I'll be Chief Hedgy Fudgy. Swampy, glad good dog found me. Bad traders keep me prisoner for weeks. Try to make me tell where Elephant's graveyard is. You mean that chief I've been buying ivory from is a phony? And how? 
They took away my chief suit when they put me in here. Where are all your people, chief? Bad trader who wear my chief suit send them south in search of ivory. There are no ivory south of here. We get all our ivory from Elephant Graveyard. Looks like our racket is finished, Buck. They're letting the chief out. Shh. Quiet. Let's listen. The Elephant's Graveyard has the best ivory in Africa. Could you take us there, Chief? Hug. It rough country. With my people gone, we no can carry ivory out. Could we land a plane in there? I think so. Elephant's Graveyard, seven miles due east, just beyond Volcano Peak. We'll go back and fix the plane, then fly in there. I go with you. I'd be very happy to help get real ivory to replace bad stuff. At last, we know where the elephant's graveyard is. Yeah, but by the time they fix their plane, we can be there and have all the ivory for ourselves. Will Clutch get the plane fixed in time to catch Horace Greedy and Dirty Buck? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo with his pals Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, the Ivory Counterfeiters. You remember last time Clutch and Company and Swampy were tricked by Horace Greedy, who impersonated Chief Hedgy Fudgy. Searching for the real chief, they found him being held prisoner. As the real chief told them where to find tons of real ivory, Dirty Buck and Horace Greedy were listening to every word. By the time they fix their plane, we can have all the ivory for ourselves. How long do you think it'll take to repair the plane, Clutch? Mmm, a couple of hours at the most. I can't wait to get my hands on some of that fine ivory in the elephant's graveyard. Plenty ivory there. <laughs> okay, everybody out and let's get this plane in the air. You think we'll have any trouble finding the elephant's graveyard, Buck? It's a cinch. The chief said it's right back at Volcano Peak. Gee, I hope there's as much ivory there as everybody says there is. We'll soon find out. <laughs> It'll be great if we can only collect enough ivory to corner the ivory market. Now we'll put out our spare prop and she'll be as good as new. While you and Spinner are doing that, the chief and I'll clear off a runway. Let's hurry, Clutch. Someone else might find that ivory before we get there. There's Volcano Peak right below us. Keep your eyes peeled, Chorus. I see nothing but jungle. Wait, what's that over there? That's it. Hold on, Horace. I'm going to set it down in that little clearing. Oh, boy. Look at that. Come on, let's get out and start loading up. Ready, everybody? We're taking off. Take off, clutch boy. Big bird fly, peachy keen, huh? Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Look at all that ivory. We're rich. Oh, let's tie some to the tail and tow it behind us. You idiot. With this big load, we're going to have trouble enough taking off as it is. Listen, I hear a plane. We better get out of here. We're just passing Volcano Peak, Chief. Graveyard just ahead, near foot of mountain. There it is, Clutch. In that canyon. I got it. That other plane's down there, loaded with ivory. Them crooks must have overheard the chief when he told us how to get here. Hang on, Horace. I think I can get one more tusk in here. Clutch! They're starting to take off. We'll see about that. I'll stay on top of them so they can't get off the ground. There's your ivory counterfeiters, Swampy. There ought to be a better way to make a living. Mine! All mine! Maybe we can arrange it so you can take that one to jail with you. 
Look like I back in ivory business. And my good reputation is restored. I'm glad everybody's happy. Hey, Crush, look at Paddlefoot. He's happy, too. <laughs> <laughs> and so ends the story of Clutch Cargo and his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot. Be sure to tune in for the next exciting adventure with Clutch Cargo.